So today I'm going to walk through how to remove your Shopify theme structure data. Remember that each theme may be different, so this is just an example for, for you to use. Now to start off with, I am going to use a product that I already ran through the rich results testing tool. When I open up the merchant listings, you'll see two sets of data. In the first set of data, we can dig into the code. We see that there is data coming from here. Uh, now I can tell this is micro data, which is an older format of including structured data into your Shopify theme. I can tell that this is micro data because I can see the words like item prop, item scope, and item type. Now I'm going to bounce back to the other data that we saw to see where that information is coming from. I'm going to click on this and now I can tell that this is JSON LD data. I know this because it has the application slash LD plus JSON in the script type. Now let's pretend that I want to remove both the micro data and the JSON LD data. We'll head over to our theme editor. The first thing you should always do is back up your theme. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to select the edit code. And in this video, I'm only going to cover removing your product data, but you could repeat this and search through all of your theme files to remove other data from various files across your theme if you wanted to do your articles or anything like that too. So I'm going to search for product because that's what I want to focus on. And in some cases, you may need to look at custom templates that you've created or look through other theme files because not all themes will have their product data uh, inside the actual product file name that has like product template or something, but that is what it is. So I'm going to search for product. You might have to look through more files, but I'm going to look at the product ones. This file I've already opened. So I'm going to look through this file to find three different keywords, item prop, item scope, and item type. I'm going to start with item prop. So I'm just going to do the uh, control F to find, or I mean, uh, yeah, control F to find. And the first one I find is the item prop for the URL. I want to delete only the name item prop with the equals and then everything inside the quotes. You want to be really careful not to delete extra things because that could change the way your theme looks. So just make sure that we're only deleting this little part. I see another one right underneath it, so I'm going to do that one too. And then I'm going to keep repeating this process until I don't find any other item prop. Feel free to pause the video for a second if you need to. Some themes have a lot, while others have nothing at all. Okay, so item prop is done on this file. I don't see any others. So I want to search for item scope. I have item scope here and right next to it is item type. That was the other one that we were talking about. Oftentimes item scope and item type are together. So I want to go ahead and remove both item scope and item type along with the part that's inside the quotes. Again, being very careful not to delete anything other than this particular part. I'm going to repeat that search until I know that they're all gone. And once I think I have them all, I'm going to search again for all three of these just in case I missed any. So again, item prop, item scope, and item type. Okay, that's the micro data. So I, I've deleted all my micro data. Now I want to remove any JSON LD data. I'm going to search for LD plus JSON. One thing to be really careful with, JSON LD is not the same thing as JSON. JSON is a file format to transmit data. JSON LD is a method to link data using JSON. So we only want to look for the JSON LD data. And to do that, we do the LD plus JSON. Oh, and here I found some of the JSON LD data that I want to remove. 
Now, unlike microdata, JSON-LD data is all wrapped up in one script. So I can remove everything in between this uh, script tags that we have here. Then I'm gonna move to the next product file. Once I think I've got those all done, I'm gonna repeat my process over and over again. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna show everything. You can pause and go back and rewatch it if needed, but you can look through any file that has product or just literally go through every single file just to make sure if you do have any product data that you wanna remove, or especially if you're removing all micro data and all JSON-LD data, however you decide to do it. But I'm not gonna go through that for this particular video. Okay, and when you think you have all the item prop, item type, item scope, and the LD plus JSON code removed, you're gonna to wanna to save each of your files that you've edited. Okay, I'm gonna head over to the product page I ran through in the Rich Results Testing Tool before, and I wanna refresh the page so I make sure that I have the latest code. You might wanna double check, make sure nothing looks out of the ordinary, um, just make sure that you have your, you know, your titles and pricing as you normally would, just so that you know you didn't delete anything wrong. Uh, one thing to note is that sometimes Shopify and the Rich Results Testing Tool will cache your website. So if you don't see things have updated right away, you may need to refresh the page a few times. I know for a fact that the Rich Results Testing Tool will cache, uh, especially if you use the URL to run your test. So you can just copy and paste the URL, but since I know that the Rich Results Testing Tool is gonna cache my results, I am going to right click, go to View Source, and then select All and Copy. And then when I go to the Rich Results Testing Tool, I'm gonna select code and then paste in everything from the view source. Now this can take uh, a few seconds as you're running the test um, and you may have to prove that you're not a bot, but uh, this time I didn't ask me to do it. Okay, and now we see that there is no product data at all, which is what we want because we removed the theme product data. If something doesn't look right uh, and you can't fix it, grab the backup that you emailed yourself and re-upload that to your Shopify and then try step one again. If you're a JSON-LD for SEO customer, you may see our code here. Uh, as an example, if I flip over to this one that I have already run, we'll see that um, as a JSON-LD for SEO customer, there are four items detected on this product. If I click into the merchant listings, I can see JSON-LD for SEO's code because we append our app name to the ID. I hope that was helpful.